What is up everybody, this is Eric Ast, and welcome to the Mysterious Library. Alright, so I'm working on getting in the um, Tokencraft 2 server. I've actually been accepted, I'm just waiting for all the information and all that kind of stuff, so we're going to go ahead and start the series that I've been wanting to start for a while, and we talked about in our update episodes, so we're going to go ahead and get to it. All right, so learn how to play. Check out the red zones. Okay, but what's in here? Nothing? Just want to look around a little bit. Just make sure I don't miss anything. Okay, so... I could be missing something, but... Um, shouldn't be. Uh, we are in adventure mode, so can't break anything. Or, you know, we can only break certain things depending on what the map creator set up. Um... A couple more rules I'm just getting from the map website. I'm not sure if it's going to be on here or not. Um, it says play on peaceful, play on adventure mode. Uh, don't destroy anything, but since we're on adventure mode, we can't destroy anything. I'm going to turn this music down just a little bit. I'm not sure how loud that's coming in for you guys, but it's pretty loud for me, so <laughs> I'll turn it down just a bit, just in case. All right. So, make sure you have the resource pack installed and selected, and I should have at that. So, let's go in here, and resource packs, and mysterious library resource pack. Alright, and default, of course. Okie dokie, and done. Alright. So, let me go ahead and just read this as well for the map info. It says, welcome to the mysterious library, a strange rundown building sitting in in the middle of a vast forest. A strange sight to see, though not to those that visited it many years ago. What could possibly... Yeah, what could have possibly cleared out such a place? All you know is that the library's doors are locked tight, and you're on the wrong side of them. Hmm. Okay, so learn how to play. Check out the red zones. Okay, so let's take a look. Okay, so it's a symbol. And lever switches unlock doors that have the same symbol. Okay. So if they have the same thing in the item frame, then they'll unlock the same thing. Cool. Didn't take us anywhere, but since we're in adventure mode, we can't open the doors. Neato. Alright. Um, some bookcases can be searched to find item. Searchable bookcase, normal bookcase. Okay, so this one has a gap in it, where this one doesn't, so... Nothing to do for that one, but we can find a book on this one, and we'll take the book. Even though there's yeah, nothing we can do with it at the moment. Maybe we can do something with it later. All right, there are 384 score crystals on the map. 664 stacks. Okay. Uh, read the rules. Follow them. The rule book. Okay, so that's probably what we just read, but let's go check it out. Is there a rule book? Greetings! You're going to cover some of the rules that you might have seen on the download page. This book will also include the tips that you saw in the spawn room. Turn over. <laughs> okay, so peaceful adventure. Yeah, these are what I just read out. Uh, this map is made to be playable in both single and multiplayer. All puzzles and challenges are multiplayer safe. Enjoy exploring. There are many secrets to be found. Yes, there are three secrets that involve throwing books. Sorry, so we will take that book. Uh, tips, levers, buttons, will okay. Um, Alright, so we've already read all that. Cool. Um, and we'll go ahead and keep this book too because, well, it's a book. Alright. When ready, walk here. Oh. Not what I expected. But it looks like we transferred to the other side of the door. Interesting. Exit. Okay, all right, so let's go ahead and check this out. It looks like we've got a window here that's been busted out. Hmm. Some cobwebs. All right, reception. Hello, can you help me? Please? Hello. All right. Oh, I don't think that was supposed to happen. So being in venture mode, I didn't figure I could break it, but I guess I can break it, but it doesn't drop anything. And same for the mushrooms. Okay. But we're on... Hmm. 
Oh, okay. It just looked a little funny with the line right there. It looked like it was down a block or down a pixel. All right. So can we search any of these right here? Doesn't look like it. But any of these. All right. So this one has a uh, tripwire. So we'll have to remember that. No searchable bookcases quite yet. Let's go ahead and return those. All right. Three books. We'll go ahead and keep those on our part. We shouldn't need to eat. <laughs> Score crystal. Um, when I read that, the reason I laughed was because I was thinking score as in, you know, the, like, classic meaning of the word, not the, uh, you know, yeah, anyway. Like, four score and seven years ago, that kind of score. <laughs> oh, we could open that door. Okay. Um, let's see if there's anything else out here. My cat crying in the other room. She doesn't like it when I record because I'm talking to somebody and I guess she doesn't know who I'm talking to. So either, either that or she's jealous of the fact that I'm talking to, you know, somebody that's not her. I'm not sure which one it is. It's probably, or it could be both. One, six, 1692. Hmm, okay. I'm trying to remember that there's a sign there with the, well... What well, appears to be a date, but it could be just a random number. Or it could be a number we need to remember for later. It's a stair. But there's no lever there, so... Hmm. It's like we can't get through here quite yet. So I guess we'll head down here since this is the only area that we can go to. You know, I wonder if this is one of the book throw areas. How about we throw bread? <laughs> nope. Nope, it just floats. Oh well. Alright. Fact three. Fact three. Scientists are yet to discover where these eggs actually originate from. Just like the creation of man. It is a mystery. Fact three. Whoops. Scientists are yet to discover where these eggs actually originate from. Just like the creation of man, it is a mystery. Okay, so let's do one. Fact one. <laughs> All animals except humans come from eggs. Huh. Uh, don't villagers have their own egg? I thought villagers had an egg. Hmm. Unless they're considering villagers different from playable characters, then that would be true. Fact two. Because of fact one, this leads us to believe that all animals are both monotremes and ovoviviparous. Okay, um, I actually don't know those two words, but I assume that they come um, from something to do with genetics that means that well, no, because you can breed them. I was going to say that they can only come from eggs, but that's not true, because you can breed them as well. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Uh, fact four. Fact four. Despite their existence, no animal other than the few expected have actually been seen laying an egg. <laughs> I guess that's true. Oh, there's a bookcase we can search. So more books and a score crystal. Cool. I guess these are oh they're droppers. Okay. Yeah, it would look kind of funny without the um, texture pack and such. All right, so that's a zombie head. I've yet to find a lever. So uh, I can't open any of these doors quite yet. Um, those look like normal bookcases. That one doesn't though. Okay. And that one's normal. I'd like to get in there, but I haven't yet found what I am looking for. Hmm. Alright, so let's search these bookcases. I not find anything yet. Um, is that one? No, that's normal. I'm trying to make sure and check all of them. <laughs> Alright, so some more books. I guess we're getting all these books because... We need to be able to throw them places without, you know. There's a carpet that's higher than the rest. 
Um, hmm. Um, so we can check things. Okay, so that doesn't do anything. All right, so let's check the chest. More score crystals. Um, button. Okay, so there's a torch here and torch there. That doesn't seem to change anything. Hmm. I don't know. Well, I guess we'll just keep an eye out for a change. It's quiet. So very, very quiet. Um. Oh. Cool. And... Saw that brick somewhere. There we go. I was going to say, huh, I remember that brick. Alright, so here we go. A chest with lots of score crystals in it. Awesome. Alright, so that's one. So there's three total from throwing books. Oh, you know what? Maybe. Oh, no, that was just a cobweb back there, I think. But let me check. Mm, don't want to step on those. Egg? It's just going to take forever for them to fall through. <laughs> Come on. Hurry up. Oh. <laughs> See, I just want to make sure that that's not also one. Yeah, my cat. You probably can't hear her because of sound filtering, but... She's still just crying and crying and crying. Are you through books? Okay. Well, I guess there's no thing there. Well, if I hear a piston, I'll know what it is. All right, so that's still zombie head. We haven't seen one of those yet, so let's go back to the left. All right. I'm also kind of fighting off being sick, so if you hear me sniffle a little bit or sneeze, that's why. And I'll go and apologize, apologize ahead of time. Hello, water? And grass? All right, um, still no bookcases that are abnormal. Okay. Now, you're not supposed to break blocks, but I'm guessing that these are okay. Just because otherwise there's some of the bookcases that you couldn't access. So, oh, what are you? Oh, they're just vines. Okay. The vines were adding an extra block, so I was like, eh, is that tripwire that's just funky looking or something? Yeah, okay. Alright, so another book. Alright, so let's check in here. Now, I'm not sure exactly what's going on in this place. It's, I mean, obviously it's been abandoned for some time. But the text mentioned that if you had visited the place in the past, you would understand. But obviously we haven't, so we don't. Hmm... Alright, so what? It's really dark in here. Hmm. I'm trying to I'm trying to check in every single corner because I don't wanna miss one of the secrets. But at the same time I'm like, well I don't know how secret the secrets are gonna be. If you know what I mean. How hidden the secrets are gonna be. There we go. Okay. Let's go ahead and flip this one. Alright, that's a bookcase. Alright, so the bookcase goes to here, the archives. Now, let's see what else we can enter before we go in there. Alright, so staff room. We can't go in there. There's a chest over there. Hmm. I'll leave that door open. Just so I know that I've been to it. Alright, so we went that way. That's the beginning. Can't open that one. No bookcases yet. Nope, nope, nope. It's really hard to see. All right, so those are iron bars, the vault. Okay, those are normal, 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 normal. Okay. So it looks like we can head over here. 
Okay, let's check all these bookcases. I like the dirt and the stone and the ceiling. And maybe the dirt and the ceiling doesn't make too, too much sense, but I just like the way it, you know, breaks it up and makes it feel like it's, you know, been abandoned. Of course, all the spider webs and the vines and everything help with that, but I just like the extra little touches that they put into it. All right. I'm not seeing, which is kind of surprising me with all these bookcases, I'm surprised to see that there aren't many of the special ones, the droppers. Staff only, okay. Well, we couldn't get to that other ladder just yet. It had a staircase next to it, which we did see at the beginning, but there weren't any levers or anything around it. Okay, all those look normal. We might have to go back and check it out. Hmm. And they're not redstone to where, you know, you change the direction of it and it'll, you know, open it up. Okay, if I climb up here, do I see anything new? Um, there's a hatch right there. Hmm. Can we get over there somehow? Okay, we can get here. There's a... It looks like that door does open, but we can't get in there quite yet. Alright, so if we jump over here, and then jump up here. Alright. All those look normal. There's a door here. I don't think we can get... Ah. I'm guessing we can break glass since it's not a block. I mean grass, not glass. So I'm not going to break any glass, but grass should be okay. Alright, so let's jump down here. And our lever. Cool. Oh, I expected to play something. Okay, they're just decoration. Ah. Cat. Okay. Alright, and I will be back in just a second because of that former problem that I mentioned. <laughs> Alright, so I'll be back with you guys in just a second. Okay, so I can partially breathe now. Woo! Alright, so let's keep going. Alright, so let's put this in here. Oh, cool. Awesome. I didn't actually expect that. That was totally an accident. I am good, but I don't think I'm that good. Alright, so we'll keep this honest, just in case. Alright, so can't get in there. Alright, let's go ahead and head back out here. We already flipped the lever, and that should have opened up this. But you know what? Before we proceed, I'm going to go back here and check this out. Because there was also one of those stair signs back here. So I wonder if we can now... No? Hmm. Anything else around here change? I don't... Maybe you guys are seeing something, but I'm not seeing anything that changed. Unless we can now throw a book down there or something. Um, let's go ahead and climb up here and just see if we can see anything different. No, I'm not seeing anything. Hmm. Maybe it's just a coincidence then. Alright, so let's go ahead and head back here. And bounce and bounce until we get over there. Alright, so let's go ahead and climb this ladder and see where it leads us. Alright, so we'll go... We'll go the first story first, but we should not forget that that is over there. All right, I remember you can open that door. This one has a uh, with a skelly skull on it, so shouldn't be able to open that one. All right, so let's go ahead and check in here. All right, some archives, got some water flowing, a bookcase. Okay, um, can we open this door? Nope. Not that one. Nope. Okay, this one's different. Got some more books in there. Almost got a stack of those uh, score crystals. Staff only, but we can't open this one. Alright, so I think that one changes one of the ones that's downstairs. So I'll have to remember that. Alright, that's brown glass and not a hole in the floor. 
Alright, so let's look. Maintenance stuff only. Not seeing any. Hmm. I don't want to break stuff like this unless I have to. Um, to get to a, whatchamacallit, um, to a dropper. Alright, what does this one say? Historical journals. Ah, lights. Cool. Alright, so let's go ahead and check these. It's pretty close in here, so it's kind of hard to see. I hate close quarters like this. It, it makes me really claustrophobic. I mean, that's... I think that's the intent here, uh, but at the same time, I'm like, eh. All right, so history. I expect to find a an actual book that we could read back here, but I haven't. I'm not seeing anything. Right from ten to twelve. I wonder if these mean anything. Hmm. Okay, nothing still. Nope. Let's go check this back corner. Where I'd really expect something, but no. Really? No droppers in all of these bookcases? How strange. Oh, here's one. Juices of mass destruction. Really? Okay. If you say so. Anything else? Okay, so just the one, it looks like. Now, I'm sure I'll be missing some in the course of the map just because well, that's very strange one jungle wood and all of this dark oak is that or is it spruce i think it's spruce oh and here's one too hmm biographies all right anything in here um do i want to drop down oh it's a ladder Alright, so we'll go ahead and do that as well, and that takes us back down here. Alright, so let's go ahead and get these score crystals. Ta -da! Got another stack. Alright, and yes, that opened up that, but I don't want to do that quite yet. I want to explore sections at a time, and that way I don't, you know, get lost and forget to explore an area. Okay. I think we've seen all of those bookcases. Okay, so it's outside. It's a dark and stormy night. Oh, hello. See, and this is why. <laughs> Alright, so, and those are droppers. Alright, so let's bounce along and leave this section. Okay, so staff only. We already went in here. I need to leave that open. I'm not sure why it closed. Um, or I closed it. All right, can't open that. So probably access it from the other side, I would imagine. And I can't go through there, so. All right. Now, as far as breaking things go, I'm gonna rely pretty much solely on adventure mode to tell me what I can and can't break. Because you can set those configurations when you're making the map. So if, say, yeah, it doesn't let me break leaves, but it does let me break vines, then I can break vines. So, I'll just rely on that and hope that the map maker, you know, made everything um, that he wanted to not be broken, uh, unable to be broken. Alright, so I've been in here. Alright, so we've got these, and we have one story that's higher than this. Let's go ahead and go up another story just because we saw this before we saw the other. And okay, it looks like another stair. I think this means that you can go up and down levels. Um, I'm surprised that I can't reach anything from here. Hmm. I don't know. Doesn't look like there's anything we can do from here. Alright, I guess we'll go ahead and go back down to the bottom then and head into the bard area, whatever that is. Alright. Let's go ahead and head this way. We've already checked the bookcases, so we shouldn't have to check them again. So let's go in here. So is this like the restricted section or something? It's scary. Does it have a sign? The vault. Okay. 
So in, in essence, yes. So the most valuable books are probably hidden in here. Hmm. Even though the vault seems like it's a lot larger than every other area. Alright, it looks like there's a way around down there, but I don't want to go down there quite yet. Alright, here's a dropper. And I'm sorry for the dark areas, but there's not much I can really do for it. Um, I did increase the brightness to all the way, you know, to full, but I know that YouTube makes it fairly dark for you, so sorry about that. There's another one. Looks like there's a lot of them in this place. What you'd expect with this many bookcases, but... Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Did I get this one already? Yeah. So there's a way to mark which ones I've gotten or not. Alright, that's that's really, really dark for even me, so sorry. <laughs> um, hmm. Okay, so it doesn't look like there's any more. Let's go up the center area. Anything up there? Oh. Okay. So this one takes a piston to open. And so does that one. So let's go ahead and drop down into the water which is kind of scary because it doesn't look like there's a way out from here at least okay so this is like a okay so there's a piston to open that side it's almost like I would say a storm drain or a sewer but maybe it's just a storm drain hmm So we've got a maze, sort of, but it doesn't look like it's meant to be a complete maze. I'm not positive about that. And I have nothing to mark my path, which is rather unfortunate, because I have an okay sense of direction, but it's not the best in the world. I'm trying to see if these redstone torches mean anything, but they aren't really seeming to. Alright, so let's go ahead and go back this way. I know there's more over there, but this seems to be closed off from other areas, so I wanted to check here. Okay, nothing there. Okay, so it looks like there's just nothing in that area. Anything here? Nope. It's getting really, really dark. I'm tempted to give myself a night vision potion just so you guys can see. Like, I can still see. Barely, but I can see. Hmm. Um, nope. Hmm. I need to be right over there, but I'm not finding a way. Alright, so I think I need to go down that path right there to get to over there, but I'm not seeing the area. Alright, so since most of this is pretty dark and it's probably a little frustrating for you guys to watch, I'm going to get over there and then I will cut back into showing what we're doing. Alright, so see you in a second. Okay, folks, so I didn't find what I was actually looking for, but I did find this. So I figure we'll go ahead and cut back and see what's going on here. Um, I just hope that the other thing wasn't a secret that I need to keep an eye out for. All right, so we've got our book, and actually this is what I was talking about earlier. So let's see what's in here. All right, so let's go ahead and do that and get all of those and our books out. All right, so I'm going to open the door and open the book. Now, I don't know where the book is. I do not remember the book. Hmm. And I really want to go open up that other one. I don't know if it does anything, but I would like to go open it up. Alright, so there's the book. Hmm. I'm going to go try to open up the other one, just to make sure it's not a secret. And then I... We'll cut back and we'll see if there's actually anything or if I'm just wasting my time, which 
It could well be. <laughs> All right, so I'll see you in a second. All right, you guys, it's actually wrapping up time. So I'm going to go ahead and stop here. And yeah, we'll continue on with this in the next episode. So we'll wait until then to figure out exactly what lies beyond the book door. And let's just see what it's called real quick. It is called nothing. Well, that was very anticlimactic. All right. So <laughs> we'll see what lies beyond there. And we will see if the uh, water flow is actually a secret or not next episode. So until then, I hope you all have a wonderful day.